Right. Shut, shut your... Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk About It. And we are here for our first annual adoption and or fostering a fur baby right here at Big Easy Pet Shop and Rescue 2 on Spain Street. Right here in the historic... Mary, oh, there we are. I was just looking yeah. for us online there. There we are. Hey, hey there we are. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Jeffrey, how you doing? I'm good. How about you? Even though it's kind of a wet, dreary, like, when will weathermen ever be able to predict the weather? A, two, a day ago, I saw sunshine for how many days in the low 80s. Now it's, you know, worse than Laura or, or Bart or whatever else we had. Okay, I'm over that. But I mean, you know, well, it's still a nice day. It is still a nice day because you know what? It's what we make out of. That's it. true. That's it doesn't true. matter, like true. you said, if it's dreary and raining. It is still time. This is an opportunity for you to do some good. And the good thing is, is that we're here at Bear Big right. Easy Animal Rescue in the Marini on Spain Street and Bur uh, Mandeville. Mandeville. Yes. It's um, like a block away from Houdat Cafe. Yeah. And congratulations to them for opening back opening up. Opening back up. Just yes. right down the street down there. But anyway, we're here um, with uh, a whole lot of activity in the next room. That's why we're kind of off we to the side right now a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. That way we could, uh, the sound would be good. And also, we're going to be bringing some animals throughout. We're just going to be here for two hours. But we're going to be bringing some animals in and out to show you what they have. They have uh, several uh, dogs and cats that are available for adoption and or fostering, which we hope that you'll adopt today. Yep. So the need's there. Also, we want to give a special shout out to our friends at BB Treats. Check this out. They have made human cookies and doggy treats. Treats for your fur baby. And our proceeds will go to Big Easy Animal Rescue to help with their mission of bringing animals and humans together in the home. And I see a cut. you have a couple of your fur babies here with you. We did. We brought um, two of our fur babies. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Show them. Yeah. Um, there we go. Look, we have... This is Winnie, Wednesday May Gaither, also known as Winnie Woo Woo. Hey Winnie, tell everybody hey. Say hi. She's 10 years old, she's our baby. Say hey, Winnie. Oh, and then is our new addition to the Gaither household, Kalula Regina Gaither. Say hey Kalula. Hey Kalula. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all can come by and get a picture with our puppies or with me and Jeff, and we would really like to meet your fur baby, so bring them out. But I thought what I thought was was interesting. If we say the word T R E A T at home, mm. it's like you know, yeah, it's, it's like the house is torn. Oh yeah, yeah, all everything is broke loose. But you can say treat around your two, and they don't even flinch. Well, I think because they're they are distracted because when I tell you at the house when you say treat or T even T or even the T <laughs> word, they go nuts and they will not rest and they think if they do anything that they get a treat if oh, they look course. outside the window they want a treat yeah. ours know, knows so. darn well you know there are there are cue times and she'll stand in front of the cupboard where the treats are and do this number if the cupboard's right here she'll go <laughs> i do that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah. Dedicated day to fur babies and and pets. Yeah, because I mean, if you think about it, you know, the evacuees they have turned over animals mm -hmm. that they're not able to take care of here, and so the bear has actually been inundated. Is that a word? Yeah. Okay. There we inundated. Go. Inundated. Yeah. Inundated. Anyway, something has been getting a lot of of extra animals that need to be taken care of because of the people that they can't. Um, you know, help. They can't take care they of it. They can't anymore. do it. Or so. even, you know, don't, even if you have um, maybe some time, you know, there's a lot more of fostering going on. You yes. know, instead of adoption, maybe you're not ready for the commitment for the, the pet's lifetime. Um, maybe you could foster um, one of those animals from Lake Charles or even here in New Orleans that, that they're having trouble finding a home for. And just kind of help them out, give them some love for a little bit. 
Right. Also, if you're not able to make it, or if you can, drop off some pet food and or make a monetary donation. Brenda, she's here in the store, and, you know, it always goes to a good cause. 100% of things sold here at the uh, Big Easy Pet Shop goes back to the rescue to help they, I mean, we're here in the vet's office here. They they uh, do all the, the spade and uh, neutering, I guess, here. Or, they do that here, too? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, no, I think they take that outside. Yeah, that's probably yeah. outside, but, but I think I mean, they do, they, like, they inoculation. Do handle the yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do that here, and they do grooming also. Grooming, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. So, I mean, it's they offer so many a variety of services for your fur baby. So, you know, just take that into consideration Sometimes it may be easier to maybe go to Walmart or Target and pick up a bag of, of food, but they have a lot of varieties here. They have yeah. a lot of toys, and it goes back to the uh, animal. All of it's uh, helping out. It, it, it all helps helping out. It's a great out. organization. Um, BigEasyAnimalRescue.org is the website. We've got that up right now. Um, and uh, actually, Bear has... Uh, <laughs> Too hot. There's a door here if you haven't <laughs> noticed, and when you go in and out of it, it does make noise. So I, yeah. I, you know, forgive us for that. Right. If you if you if you can make it down today, come and open the door and smile at us. Um, they have two locations, Misty. They, they have, do. Uh, this location here in the Marini, uh on Spain, uh, just a block away from uh, Houdet. Right. Um, and then they also have one in. The French Quarter, which is kind of close to, is in our neighborhood. Right. Just a couple blocks away. Um, but both of those locations are listed on their website. Um, and you can see they do have some of their adoptable pets on there. But it's always best to just come down and, and, and meet the pets that are, that are available or that, that have maybe, I don't know, just showing up. Or, or hell, just come over and, you know, just also you can meet Brenda Laura. Mm -hmm. Now, that's somebody that does a lot, and, and she does not like praise. No. She gets aggravated at me. <laughs> but, you know, she does do a lot of, of good things. And, and I always think of the animal kingdom or whatever like they they don't have voices i mean they have their ways to let us know they do they, want, they do but, they do but they do. you know I, I really admire her for kind of stepping up and being the one to kind of try to take care of as yep. many as she can yep. and, and she's she been a, doing it a long time she's been doing it a long time a long and time. uh she has some volunteers but i noticed that they're needing more volunteers because they have more animals to take care of yeah when we um arrived here today it was like i kind of had to stand find a corner to stand back in there and it was a good thing, yeah, it because was it's kind of a beehive of people running around and trying to get things situated, and it's it's great to see all you know that many people that are willing to give a, a a helping hand and to help out. Right, and you know what, Mason, if you could let them know, like they could bring in a, a an animal or something, oh, yeah. Okay, go because they'll got it. be all, right. all busy right now. Yeah, so that's good if they're all busy. That yeah. means that maybe people are actually listening and 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 stopping by the store. So that's a good thing. Absolutely. I see that your colleague Linda is watching. Oh, is she? Hey, yeah. Linda. Hello, Linda. We have um, real estate coming up again on the show here. What? The 30th. 30th. Yeah. 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 So we'll be talking real estate again with um, Doug and Linda. Yes. And I suspect uh, maybe somebody from the, the mortgage people too again. So That would be great. Yeah. Uh, also, next week you want to uh, join us. We have Poppy Tooker. She is a uh, culinary, uh, a cultural ambassador. Yes. And she uh, also uh, is the author, co-author of the a Drag Queen Brunch Cookbook that featured so many of our drag queens here in New Orleans. She'll be one of our guests. And we'll also have Sandy Rosenthal. It was words, and she's the author of Words Whispered in Water. It's mm -hmm. about when the, uh, the levees broke during Hurricane Katrina, and she's also a civic activist. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and we had uh, gave away a bunch of the, the cookbooks at our telethon. We did. For poppies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was great. Uh, Crescent Care donated, like, I don't know, like maybe 20, 25 books. And if mm -hmm. you made like a certain donation, you would get one. So. And they all went away. And they all went away. Uh, also, we have Bourbon Pride donated uh, to Wednesday's show. And Sean Cooper is supposed to be stopping by with Zozo. And. He got a. Oh. Sorry, my <laughs> phone charger, charger not sorry. included. But uh, all of this except my phone charger 
It has a cute little rainbow tie and the rainbow leash and a, a handkerchief or kerchief thing yeah. you around your dog. It's a pride pet package. So if you didn't win, do not feel sad. You can go to their store on Bourbon. It's like 909 Bourbon Street. I mean, it's kind of, it's by Cafe Lafitte and uh, across from Clover Grill. You can go there and buy, oh, and a koozie too, and you can buy your own stuff for your pet. Yeah. Let your pet show some pride. That's uh, our good friends, Josh and Joseph down there. Yes. Always so supportive of everything we do. And they really are. Yeah. So we appreciate that. And if Sean's supposed to stop by and get his gift so that he won. If not, we'll start, you know, kind of divvying things out between you and I if he doesn't show up and start. I think that's only fair. I think that Kahlua should get the cute little uh, tie, the little rainbow tie. We're so. not quite there yet, no, Sean, but no. stop and get your gift right. bag. And, and um, what's, what's, what's his dog's name? Well, Zozo is Zozo. the name. Zozo. Zozo. Zozo is waiting for all those fabulous little accoutrements. Yes. And it, I don't know if you saw it, remember the picture of Zozo, but he was kind of looking like a... Big old poodle. Yeah, so I don't yeah, know what he was Zozo's kind of, no small oh, dog. Oh, wait, I'll we have our first guest of the Aww. show. Da, da, da. Who's this? Oh, do we have a name? Coca. Mm -hmm. Look, Coca's here. Coca's always great about helping us out. And who do we have here, Coca? This is Sarah. Sarah. Sarah is a tabby white cat. Uh, tabby white. Mm -hmm. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. How old? And, and uh, uh, I don't. How old is ta uh, Sarah? Do you know? Oh yeah, she's uh, five months old. Five months is all. She's so nice. Oh. Adoption, if you want her to come in, Alisa is adopting. Oh, Alisa's here already. Good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, bring her. Yep. Or, who she I'll, adopted? I'll, I'll, I'll come and get her. Okay. Okay. We already have. Thanks to our show, we already have an adoptee. And I think somebody a lot of people will know, too. Oh, yeah. She's very <laughs> famous here in New York. And I don't know if y'all remember something that we used to have. It's kind of called a bar. Yo, what was that? I don't know. But she used to bartender, bartend, excuse me, a lot around uh, New Orleans. So, so yeah. anyway, Tab, is, yeah. Tabitha, Tabby? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah is a Tabby wife. Is a Tabby. Oh, and she is so She's precious. Sweet. And Close your eyes and picture... Cuddling up. Yeah, it was Sarah. And if everybody I was talking in the other room, they were expressing that, that she's probably the most tamed one out of the whole group right now. Oh. She's adorable. She's, a, she's very She's nice. a lover. Yes, definitely. Look, All right. come and adopt Sarah, and I will throw in a cookie. Get a cat, get a cookie. Cookie cat. Hmm. Get a companion. Get a companion cookie and a yep. cat. Three C's. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Coco. Also, another C. <laughs> for uh, helping us out and also my son our son Mason is on the uh, video and audio on no, the audio tech end, on the tech tech end, end of yes, things our, today. Our, tech. Yes, our uh, AV tech today so I I suspect that little Sarah is not going to last very long here so if she mm -hmm. caught your eye there Coca's on his way back out front with her right um, you better come down and and Meet up with Sarah. You better get Sarah quick. I think Sarah she's going fast. Sarah is not going to last very long. She is a hot, um, a hot ticket. All right, we have our first guest. Look who's oh, here. Look, look at who's here. here. Hey, everybody. Y'all remember. Come on. Over here. Come on. Right, remember? right behind us. Right. Oh. Look here. Y'all remember Elisa Bryant? Yes. Yeah. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> Did you find a new? I found a baby. Oh, oh she's so. What's her name? I, kind of, I don't know. We haven't decided yet. What was I like Misty. Name? That's a good name. Misty. It's <laughs> a boy. Oh, it's a boy. Johnny. His Johnny. name is Gravy. Gravy. Well, for now it's Gravy. gravy. It might change. Yeah, it's Gravy. 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 Oh, look at that! I'm so glad you came, I'm and I'm so sorry about Jerry, but Thank glad you. that you. I remember when you got Jerry way back uh -huh. when. Yeah. yeah, you brought me by Doctor Dusty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, at 20 years. Well, he looks like a perfect fit for your family, and and that, this is so great. So, how's retirement? Oh, I'm loving. Yeah, that's what you <laughs> told me. I've been asking you before. You're like, girl, I love, love it. retirement. So, yeah, I'm about ready to go. Like, I need somebody to answer. Yeah. 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 Those are not there. <laughs> right. yeah, this six months of retirement's been enough for me. It's time to do some more. Exactly. <laughs> we have another adoption after this one. Okay. Right. Look, they're right. rolling it. Thank yeah. you. So good to see you, Aletha. Yeah. Aletha, let us know Stay what the name touch. is. Can yeah. we pick it for yeah. sure? Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah
think it's Troy. Zozo Troy? Troy. Troy. Zozo's here? Oh, look. Zozo's here. Oh. Troy's a good name. Yeah. Troy's good. Yeah. Troy's good. Yeah. Troy's good. Yeah. Troy's good. And we have another adoption? Yeah. We've only been open here on live on the air, what? If you're thinking about minutes. adopting, you better get your butt down here. Because they're, right. they're, they're flying out of here. And y'all thought we were just joking and talking big. No. But we got no, proof. No, we got it. Uh -uh. I think it's kind of a, you know, it's a it's a good adoption. I was, I was bitching about the weather earlier, but it might be a good adoption weather day. Because so. I'm sitting inside, it's raining, I'm kind of lonely. I've been thinking about someone to cuddle up with. So now, why don't I go down to Big Easy Animal Rescue and cuddle. get me something to cuddle with? That's right. You, they, like I said, they have kittens, they have puppies. All the puppies are so cute. I too. can't go to the damn bar and find anybody to cuddle with, so I'll just go adopt something to cuddle with. How's that? That's good. That's good, you, good, Jeff. Yeah, that's Whatever good. Whatever makes you happy. That's good uh, Good thinking or good reasoning as far as I'm concerned. Good to see Aletha there with her new uh, new adoption. Oh, your, your colleague Linda is wanting to know about volunteer times and days. So we'll, we'll ask, we'll get somebody to ask Brenda to find out. Yeah, we'll get out. Brenda yeah, in here Because right bit. now they're like popping with people out there. I, I do, I do see, uh, Yeah, they here. really are. Yeah, that's amazing. Y'all keep, y'all come on. I mean, there's plenty of room for everyone. And, and you know, that we're doing the, the safe distance thing and, and out there. And, and so this is great. Even if you already have found the animal that you love and, and spending your life with or... You can still come and get food, mm -hmm. toys. They even got the little, they got Scooby snacks for real. You can, you can come down and you can um, even get some cuddle time here at the, at the shop. Yeah. You know, if, if you're in a situation where you can't have a pet um, or you can't. Um, we got to put our on. Do we need masks? Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, you get, now Somebody that we're getting in? guests in, yeah. we need to, um, yeah, put that off. But, yeah. Um, Maybe if you can't, you know, you're not in a spot where you can adopt anyone or you, can, you can't you um, can have a fur baby of your own, then maybe you should, you or you can come down here and just cuddle with one for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And, and you can, and, and for a small donation, they'll let you come and pet the cats because, you know, that's a good therapy thing. Yep. It's a good, uh, good therapy uh you know, kind of having that, that calmness and just that, that. Yeah. I know, you know, some of our friends say, you know, it's, it's so nice that you have a dog so we can come over and play with your dog. Right, right. And still get our fix and then go home. And that's fine. You know? Hi, how you come doing? Come, come right around behind us here. And what's your name? Hi, lady. This is Murphy. Oh. Hey, Murph. So you I'm adopted her here, or you're just hanging out with us? No, I just adopted him. Just oh, now? Yeah. Wow. Lady. And what was your name, sir? Lady. Lady? Lady. Okay. Lady. Lady. L-A-D-Y. Gotcha. Lady. This is Murphy. And Murphy. Lady and Murphy. How Murphy. about that? Your second adopted? Yeah, I was fostering him, and I'm a okay. foster failure right here. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, he's See, a, we, 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 we time, talked about yeah. that earlier, that that could happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, happened pretty quick too. Hey, buddy. Oh. So what, how what, old is he? Yeah, I'm gonna guess around a year. Okay. Uh, and what kind of pup is he? I don't know. Some he's sort of cute. Yorkie he's mix. He's cute. Yeah. It's been guessed that maybe he's like a, a dorky, which is Yorkie Dachshund. Oh sure. Oh. But I don't really know. I don't know. He's he's a mutt. Just or could like it be a Warkie? A Warkie. Which oh, crazy name? Yeah. Oh. No, I'm just joking. I mean that works too. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very Star Wars. -y. Ours is a Schweeney. A Schweeney? Yeah. What's uh, yeah. Half Winnie Dog and, and uh, Shih Tzu. Oh, well, that's okay. Cute. That's cute. But it's so cute. cute. It's so nice to meet you both, Lady and Murphy. Yeah, he's, I think he's a little overwhelmed at the moment. But yeah, I understand. Perking, perking up a little bit. On. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, we're Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, check us out. Adoption Day. Adoption Day. Ooh. That's, you know, that so warms your heart, doesn't it? I it mean, really that's does. what we were talking about earlier. You, um... You know, we're, we're not trying to do something sly on you, but, you know, maybe try foster it to see how it goes. See how, if it if it fits in with your lifestyle and if, right. the, if, the, the, if the pet wants to adopt you, that's part of it too. You, you know, if it you has want to, be a to adopt the pet, yep. Right. So that's, that's exactly the way it, 
it's got to work out. So posturing works out well. Yes, and that way you, you can find that out. But guess who's here right now? Who? Zozo and Sean. Oh, Cooper, okay. The winners of the Pride Pet Package. On Wednesday night. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to be having a Bourbon Pride's going to be donating another package uh, for this coming up this Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. So we got kind of a busy week ahead. We do. We, we have. got the show on Wednesday. Yep. And um, just came from there, actually, with our... Uh, our tech here, Mason, and making some dramatic improvements on our sound quality. Thank so, you. Yeah, we that's been our nemesis, but we're conquering our it. Achilles heel. Our Achilles heel. And we're tired of it. We're, and we're tired not taking of it. it no more. Nope, and we're gonna make it work. So right. um, Mason's been working real hard on that and he's got some solutions that we hopefully, I believe, are gonna um, going to improve things greatly coming yeah, Wednesday night. I believe night. it. I believe it. And then Thursday, we'll be at Louisiana Pizza Kitchen uptown from 4 to 6 for the dining for uh, where, there, where you dine there to give back to the restaurant. You know how for years, uh, oh, Crescent yeah. Care yeah. has, you know, you go to a certain restaurant and then the restaurant donates a percentage a portion, back right, or a right, portion right, back right. to Crescent Care. Well, this year, being how everything is, they came up with a great idea. You know what? Let's just, we're not going to do the donations. Let's everything go to the restaurant to say thank you. You so, know, I've been doing this damn keto diet. I if you know I anything would. about this damn keto diet like this, no. Oh, no. And going to Louisiana Pizza Kitchen, which I actually did with some friends, um, a couple of weeks ago, and I was good. I think I had the salad. Um, but man, we were talking about going to Louisiana Pizza Kitchen on Thursday night. Well, I'd sure like a big old pepperoni pizza. I had one last Maybe night. I'll break down. I don't know. Come on. Is we have another we adoptable, that? huh? Look at here, y'all. Who we got here? This is Yogi. 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 He looks like Yogi. A year and five months old. Oh. And it's a boy. It's a boy, Yogi the boy. And I believe somebody I, just asked, uh, yeah. who was it on here? Holly just asked us to see some puppies. Here's one. Here's Holly, Yogi. Here you go. And I know you, Holly, personally, and I know that you could give Yogi a lot of love Look and a cool Yogi shirt, so sweet. and he would be just fine. Yeah. He's a little overwhelmed with everything that's going yeah. on here. Yeah. So. I believe they had some shots, and we're going to be done with one more shot from what I heard. And then they're all good to go in their shop. Yeah, so, and so, so you, you don't have to get worry that. about that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's so sweet. Look at that. I know he'll be just fine. Get the right home and and love and and look at there. And he likes watching himself on TV. <laughs> we have a star, y'all. Yeah. A star. Yogi's Thank adorable. Thank you so much. I love him. He's cute. Yeah. Come down and see Yogi. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye, Yogi. Thank you so much. Ah. Well, this is great. Yeah. I'm going to set all of our equipment on fire. Don't do that. I know. We're just talking about the sound and then we'll burn it off <laughs> the ground and burn the store. Oh, my God. Oh, I did. Oh. oh. There goes that Sorry. Ziploc. Yeah. Our, our fancy schmancy Ziploc. So, yeah. anyway, we were yeah. talking about Louisiana Pizza Kitchen right. Thursday night. Thursday night, 4 um, to 6. We will be there. They'll be there, like, I think from 4 to 9 or 10, okay. whenever it is. But we're going to be out there. And if you want... If you if you would like to donate some canned foods or you know whatever, we'll be there and we'll accept your canned food donations. Yeah. And they'll go to Food for Friends because even though they're not taking any of the, the you know the money that's uh, being spent at the restaurant, you know they still are going to need donations because even with the evacuees now, all the food banks and they, they're very very overwhelmed. Yeah. So anything that you can do to help. Please do. Do and you bring something to, to to donate that night. That'd be great. Um, or just come and have dinner because yeah. that's going to help out too. Yeah, exactly. Come have dinner there at uh, Louisiana Pizza Kitchen. I think also Chef Ron, I want to give him a shout out because he's always uh, doing things for the community. Yeah. And I know that he'll, he'll also be doing the dining out for life. And also Wednesday, one of the, our guests will also be Andrea Halstead. She was the winner queen number three. She's my queen. That, with Jeffrey, he was king number three. And she's also really into uh, the the fight against AIDS. Yes, and she really, is. She's always Big she's been, right, been um, you know doing so much, and so she's going to stop by and, and talk about the the um, the event. Good. So good. Good. I yeah. know she does. Uh, 
She does several events with the Louisiana Pizza Kitchen up there throughout the year. Oh yeah, fundraising wise. So yeah, uh, yeah and so it's great, and, and they have great food, and, and I think that they have things maybe a uh, vegan. Yeah, vegan. Yeah, just I, I I'm just kind the of crust. A that's all I want. Okay, I mean, well they got the uh, the what do you call it the bread the uh, pal the oh, uh, gosh what don't do you make call it that? worse. It's, some kind of bread you can buy and eat. And yeah, with a fricotta or something, and you dip it yeah, in the oil. Yeah, yeah, they have that. So good, yeah. so good. So meanwhile, as I'm starving to death now, but I'll have to have a BB treat. I'll be good. Yeah, have a BB treat in the meantime, but I'll right. just get a big Caesar salad and maybe put some chicken on it. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's good. And I'll sit over there and eat my healthy oh, free beef. Oh, listen no, to this. No. Right in front of me. Big old pepper. Slice no, I will be a good friend, Jeffrey. And, and I not, have, no, I want you to have pizza. Don't no, that, no, no. Coca doesn't do that at home. I mean, he makes a damn pizza and eats it in front of me. So why would why would I worry about that? I started like that. <laughs> I started eating with him, and then I was like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to do Man, it the, takes the a friend commitment. co-host thing, and I'm going to have a salad with you. Sa all right. Okay. Salads. Salads. Salads on Thursday. Salads on Thursday. All right. Oh. Okay. But yeah, it'll be good. So anyway. I want to get to where I want to be, and then then I'll go back to every once in a while having a you know. A well, pizza. call me on those days. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you want to go to eat on those days, don't you? Sure. Sure. That's what kind of suffer by I yourself in the meantime. Right, right. Well, I am suffering, and I do have to start doing something, or I'm going to, have to get my own zip code yeah. because it's just <laughs> oh, like ah, but do but, you know, I heard Vanessa Carr Kennedy, she said, she's on her way, I guess, to oh, come good. And maybe play a couple of tunes for tunage. I like that word, tunage. Oh, she gonna is she gonna come and entertain a little bit? Maybe I think so. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's either that or you want to listen to me and Jeffrey sing WKRP in Cincinnati. Did, was it really WKRP in Cincinnati Day? Well, I kind of put day in in uh, parentheses because it was actually the day it premiered in 1978. Oh, wow. So I heard uh, on the air for the first time, wow. and um, it was. I, li I listen to uh, WWL, the um, the Scoop, yeah, a lot. I like Scoop. And he, so he had a, a question, and, and you know what? You can put uh, answer it on our, our feed here. Um, they were asking who did you who would you prefer, Jennifer or Bailey? Oh, well that well yeah. Well, you, maybe like you maybe would somebody go that. have pizza with. Oh, they have pizza with. Yeah. I didn't, you know Jennifer had some smart wit in that in that role. She did. You know, she like told, uh, well, of course, he was kind of a fish anyway, but she told the boss, you know, Mr. Carlson, what she, how yeah. she was going to do things and no uncertain and terms. And that's the way. And, and then he would always try to hit on her and stuff. And oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want, but Bailey was Not cold. as bad as Herb Tarlick tried to hit on her. That's true. But the, I couldn't get past those uh, plaid suits and flowery shirts of Herb. Oh, I would, I'd die for some we of We should right have now. a WKRP in Cincinnati day. Maybe we and should. And we could dress up like them and be the characters. You know, even I'm though I, you know, I'm kind of in the Les Nessman role. Yes. I don't want to dress up like Les Nessman. And y'all know, I, I guess I'm, I have I to dress myself, up like Jennifer then. I see myself more as Johnny Fever, kind of falling asleep as we're doing this. Oh yeah. yeah I guess yeah, I yeah. could be Venus Flytrap. You could be Venus Flytrap. I could do that. Let's do it. He was from New Orleans, you know. I did. I in the did show. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we got. But I do want a Silver Sow Award. You're going to get one. I want a Silver Sow Award, and I want an office. Not just a taped office. I want a dang office. You want a real office. Well, if we keep doing these things that we're doing now. And then I laugh. Somebody made a comment about, well, Thanksgiving is coming. Because remember the episode where they dropped the turkey? The turkey, yes. I do remember that on reruns. Oh, but yes, um, yeah. So hello to everybody that's watching. And you know what? Leave us a comment. Say something like, hey, I like it, or hey, Yeah, the last dogs, comment you, we got I mean, was show the puppies. I mean, puppies. it shows up when you're watching, but, you know, like, let us hear from you. We like to do feedback and talk, you know, talk to you. Yeah, so. Ginger Joe is here with yeah, us Yeah, Ginger Joe. Ago. Hey, Linda, Linda, of course. I love me, Ginger Joe. Yep, yep. My friend Holly Perry and, and Linda. Oh, what did Linda say? Can you Linda, let us Linda, yeah, let's talk oh, about okay, Linda. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's right. Are you guys ready to see Zozo? Yes, we're yeah, ready for Zozo. Yeah, Zozo. Zozo's a big girl. Uh oh. oh. Prepared. Okay. All right, let's roll. Let me go grab it. All right, everybody excited? Pick, go pick up the puppy. You can, go, that's yeah, stationary. Go just turn around and you can show Zozo yeah, yeah, coming show, in. Yeah, show Zozo coming in. Towards the door. Is there anything you can take one out and hold it to their first drop? Take one little skin it because they live to that point about 18 or 15 years. This is like an entrance. Come on, Zozo! Come on, Zozo! Yeah, today she's up all together. Come on, Zozo. 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 Come on, Zoz
Ozo Cooper and Sean. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Uh oh, where is she? <laughs> Zozo's saying hi to Kamala. Hey, congratulations. Thank y'all. Look at her. How old is Zozo? 2012, so eight years. Eight years old. Or we'll be, we'll be eight in and December. A, a full-size poodle. Yes, full-size poodle. Very cool. Well, Zozo you are and Sean, the grand winner. you were the big winners on Wednesday, so there Thank you go. Thank you so yeah. much. Look at there. He's Enjoy very interested in all the prizes. from Bourbon Pride. Yeah, That's like, like saying, come here, I want to see you. I want yeah, to see you. Yeah. They made friends yeah, outside. Yeah, outside. Oh, did they? Okay. okay. Hey, Zing, what's up, boo boo? Hey. <laughs> so, if people wanted to make a monetary donation, how do they do that? Um, Ask Brenda, but they can um make it here or. um. If they want to PayPal it, we can send it to her or whatever. Uh, go to you can go to Catherine Gaither and we'll make sure that Brenda PayPal, has it. Venmo, pa cash PayPal, out. Venmo, Cash App. You can do it like that, or go on to Big Easy uh, Animal Rescue dot org and you can make your donation through there too. But they, but you know, stop by here, make one. Even better. Yeah, that yeah, way you can check it out for future things. Sean and Zozo, thank you so much. Thank you. We're, thank so, you guys. we're so glad. Hey, I want to see Zozo take pictures of her and her stuff, and that yeah. way we can show Josh and Joseph too and put Absolutely. it on our page. <laughs> it's a little Bye, baby You ever notice scrappy. that? Scrappy. I mean, they're scrappy. Yeah. She's scrappy as hell. Scrappy. So, a shout out to uh, Tisha, uh, Tish Brennan for uh, watching. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. There's a lot of uh, possibilities going on out there. You oh. know what? They need a matchmaker. A oh. matchmaker? Yeah, instead yeah. of having a matchmaker of, well, it is of love, but it's a different fun. kind of love, but you can have a matchmaker and say, hey, I think, uh, what's that dog's name? Um, the, the, oh, Yogi. Uh, Yogi, Yogi. Would go good with, hey, you over there. Boom. It's done. Could be. They'll probably do that. Oh, yeah. we were, uh, what's going on out there, Coco? Do you have another kitten that we could meet? Yeah. Okay. Um, I know we're going to have Brenda on in a little bit and visit with her. And but, then Lex, um, too. Remember Lex? She came yeah. to the telethon, yeah. If you're, if you're interested in how the whole adoption thing works, um, sometimes it's not just as easy as come down and, you know. Match make. Yeah, match make. They, um, they have a, uh, they, oh. they say on their website, it's usually one to two days to review your application. They want to make sure that, um, the pets they have up for adoption here are going to good homes, and and you can't blame them for that. You no. have to sometimes you have to be a little patient, um, take some time for them to get through everything they need to do, um, and it looks like once your application is approved, then they work with you to arrange a time and date to get you acquainted with your chosen pet. Um, then you get like a one week foster period. You know, make sure everything's right. okay. So everything, I think. For the most part, designed to just make sure you and your new friend are gonna get along right, and like mesh. Yeah, right, right. Get, get but I think today well. they're kind of foregoing some of the, are they? the okay. wedding. Yeah, because okay. like, I think. Oh, look here, we have a new guest. Oh, we have Catherine. This Come on little beauty has just been adopted. What? We have three That's adoptions now? Yes. All right. Who do Who's we have? With the no name yet. No name yet. Yes, okay. Just adopted. You're so cute. Mommy's sitting out there waiting Congratulations. for baby to come back. But that's adoption number three. Is it a girl or boy? I don't know. You want to check it out? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a look, but I think it's a Misty and not a Johnny. <laughs> Misty and not a Johnny. I think. That is so cool. So three animals, pets, fur babies have been adopted so far in our... And I think Catherine and Coco were just telling us there's a lot more potentials out there too, huh? Yeah, we really. like to come and take a look. Sure, let's go take yeah, a look. you know what? I want y'all to come with us. Even y'all just have to come with us 
and we're gonna go and we're gonna go check it out out there and we're gonna show you what all big easy rescue is about yeah let's go let's go take a let's look let's go do this uh, All right, so so we are here. We were back in the vet's office, so now we're walking out into the actual store and, um, try, you know, seeing what all that they have to offer. Now, these are the, all the dogs that they have right now. And look, they're going fast. I think one's going as we speak. Okay. Yeah. You thinking about looking at this one? Yeah. Look at there. Look at these sweet little puppies. How are you doing? Okay. You want to be Okay. What's your name? Coco. Coco. All right, Coco. How you doing? And this is maybe. Oh, you know what? Mr. Hyde is his name. Mr. Hyde. But you can change it. Well, the lady that brought him in, I was like, hey, what's the dog name? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Mr. Hyde. Yeah. Yeah. So. He said he's very sweet dog. Yeah. And look, I think he knows how to shake. We had so many kids. Wait. He's a little. Oh, I think she knows how to shake. I don't know. Well, she does like normally. So, yeah, that's cool. So you're thinking about adopting. We don't want to pressure anything, but we just wanted to see, you know. So did you hear about uh, the adoption day or just? I just heard about uh, this, this particular shop, how they do all yeah, the rescues. Yeah. And I think it's a great thing that they're doing. Yeah, all the amazing. Dogs out of the street, helping them, getting them all vetted up. Right. And trying to get them in a safe home. That's what's the most important. Yeah, you're right. And Those you know what? When you make your decision, just let us know. And we'll be happy to, you know, to, and we want to see how he or she's doing. All right? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll go over here to the uh, kitten area. We'll go over here to the kitten area. And as you see, we have one, two, we have three left, well, four. No, maybe. I think this is maybe This is just like, this is a, they're like, The resident. The residential. Their okay, their home, their home cat. Yeah. So, uh -huh. um, we have four here that are three. I don't know, three or four. I'll say that that is adoptable. So be sure to come on in. I mean, they, they look like they're well behaved, and and this one right here is not adoptable. That's our daughter Winnie Wooley. So and also <laughs> check out these treats from uh, BB's treats. You can get two dollars. They're two dollars a piece or three for five dollars. So we're definitely going to have to get some of those. Some of them are humans and some of them are Right. These right here are the human ones. Oh, that's you. Who is this? And these are for your animals. So either way, and be sure to get a picture of this. And then Yoda, Yogi, Yogi, I think. We have all the other ones in the back that are in Oh, there is some more back yeah. there? Okay. Look, we're going to go in the back. They have some more animals back there. So I tell you what, come on and follow us. Jeff, you ready? Yeah, let's go, go check on. it out. Uh, and also, if you'll look on the shelves, they have just a plethora and a good variety of items for you that you can buy. Is that a hamster wheel or what? It's going to be a big hamster. That's a big, I don't know what that is. That's cool. Come back here. They have even more. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? And they have even more animals back here that you're able to adopt. So ta-da! Ta oh look, gee. Oh, this one right here, he don't he, he's so we have here and up here. So be sure to stop by and then you and then, do these here too? Yes, they're Oh, they're going to take one. Okay. Hey, do y'all, if y'all are comfortable, I don't understand. If uh, whoever's adopted want to come over here and just like say hey and then come over here. Or we're Facebook Live. Okay. Are we all? That's what we're doing. So, where's Vernon? Vernon, you want to come over here? Yeah, I'm going to give it more than I'm going to do it in So yeah, they have a lot of stuff here at Big Easy. Look, they even got um, 
little chickens and they got snacks that you can buy. Right now we're concentrating on buying these BB treat snacks too. And they got all different kinds of food, leashes, everything for you to buy. And like I said, 100% of it goes back to the rescue. So how are you doing? I'm so good. This guy looks just like my guy. I oh, know, and he's so sweet. I think he got adopted today. Yeah, that's gravy. Um, I think they named him Blue, but this might be gravy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, AKA gravy. But yeah, uh, Aletha Bryant, who's like an icon in the community, adopted him. So it's so cool. So, yeah. so I think so far we haven't been on the air that long. We've done three adoptions. I know. Yeah, and I think in another one, in another really one's coming exciting. up. Yeah, so maybe two more. Is, are, I'm so is, helping. Yeah, yeah. So this is yeah, real cool. Going fast. <laughs> Everybody, this is uh, Lex, and you're, Hi, you are here with uh, Big Easy, and you help out the organization a lot. And tell yes. us about what all you do. Oh my gosh. Well, I would say first and foremost, what makes us unique as a rescue is that we're a nonprofit and entirely volunteer run. And on top of that, we're kind of the guys who take the guys in need. So if you're a puppy with one eye or three legs or you just your family kicked you out, then Brenda's often the one who takes in those dogs. So not only do we adopt adorable guys like this, but we also take in a lot of special needs animals who need care and attention. And that's what I really love about Bear, but I also love all of the other little guys. Um, we have two pet stores that you can come in and buy supplies at, and all that money goes directly back to the rescue, which is really, really cool. And yeah, and that's what we do. And then we come in and we cuddle cats. <laughs> Where'd Misty go? Hey, baby. So we're going to go back in the room. That way it'll give everybody a little bit more room to, uh, to kind of see what's going on. And, and hopefully it all information to give to you. Brenda Laura said that this is their first ever adoption foster day that they've ever had in all the years she's been in business. Their first adoptathon. Yes, ever. And so uh, this is something that we may can do once a year. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, just a little update too. Um, talk to Aletha walking through you. They've decided the name is going to be Gray. It fits. Yeah. Gray. Yeah. It yep. fits. I I think we had a cat named Gray at one point in time. We? My, uh, well, growing up as a kid. My, uh, the other we. stepfather was, <laughs> was, I mean, he was notorious for naming, you know, black and white, gray, you know, whatever Red. the, socks, of course, you know, and that was the names that he would, he would give all the cats. That, that you and I had, or that you had when we got together, Beyonce? Yeah. Yeah, Beyonce, we Beyonce the, cat, the cat for a while. <laughs> yes, indeed. Beyonce the cat. <laughs> so I'm looking to see who we have um, watching. We have Senator Ken. Senator, Senator Ken. Ken Senator is, Kennedy. Senator Ken. Oh. Ken Willard. Yeah, he uh, plays. Well, he played the Golden Lantern. And says, "Do you have a website? I'm out of town and would love to help." Yes, Jelena. It is BigEasyAnimalRescue.org. Or you can just Google that and it'll take you to it. Is that right? Is yep. BigEasyAnimalRescue.org. Big yeah. And if you could just, I mean, we don't get anything for it, but if you if you do go through, just put a little thing in that you saw it on our uh, on our live. You saw Misty and Jeff talking about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There it is right there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, whoever, cool. I didn't even type that. And Who that's did? Cool. I don't know. It's amazing. Oh, Mason. <laughs> I'm like, wait, my hands ain't Our even Our technical moving. director. Our director of technical people. operations, yes. Mason. Yes. Go, go. So if you're looking, just go on the comments and boom, there it is. Yep. Amazing. I am so in love Technology. with our new puppy, Kalua. Oh, yeah. my God. I am. Look at, look at that face. There's little Kalua. There's my little boo-boo. How can you? I mean, horrible. Tell tell us the story of how Kalua came into your life. All right, here's the story. Sorry. <laughs> here's the story of how Kalua came into our life. Well, y'all know uh, drag queen and legendary performer uh, Coco. No, no, no. 
Regina Adams. Uh, she, her and um, Kyle Scott, and they have puppies, and they, I guess, are together a lot, and so they have litters. Well, I saw on Facebook, you know, that they, um, you know, had puppies, and we're kind of like filled up on the puppies and animals, like a farm almost at the house. So for some reason, I had had messaged them. This is a long story, so if you could grab them. We got time. Coffee. We okay, got time. we got time. No, I'm sure. So I was just like, "Hey, let me know about the puppies." So and then I was like, "Well, I don't know because we have all the, you know, we have several animals." So then um, Kyle messaged me and was like, "Hey, you still want a one of the animals?" And I'm like, "I don't know. Send me pictures." First mistake. No. And then he sends me these pictures, and I see Kahlua, and I'm we like, Look here, bring oh, another adoption. I'll continue this riveted story in just a moment. <laughs> well, Stay you probably tuned. got some time. Let's start coming in right uh, now. Hit the like button if you want to hear my story. Hey, it's Monica Sinclair Kennedy, everybody. Yeah. That's uh, all. That's oh, right. here we go. Come on, right behind us here. Yeah, Come right, yeah, that's fine. Come right behind us. Who do we have here? Yeah, Coco. <laughs> hey. How you doing? All right, so y'all have adopted a kid. A kid. We're about to, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, she's so sweet. What's his name? Uh, she's Sarah right now, but we're gonna name her. Bruce. Sarah oh, was in your earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was like. We What's just... Sarah's new name? Ruth. Ruth. Oh, oh that's cute. Oh, how appropriate is that, huh? That's, that's sweet. Beautiful. I think. I think Ruth is. Very cool, very chill, she's very so chill. Yeah. yeah. I think she's gonna be a great addition to your your home for yeah, sure. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Yeah. I know that y'all are gonna just have the be the perfect blend and yeah. and uh, yeah. I appreciate y'all coming out and, and adopting her. Yeah. yeah, we're happy to support you all and she's just so sweet. Yeah. Cool. She's, she's a cool she's a cool cat. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. like okay, her, Petunia. just like her namesake, she's a cool cat. Right, cool cat. Right. Yep. Yep. Well, thank y'all so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Congratulations. So that brings the total up to four or five that that we've gotten a dog, something like that. More than one. More than one. <laughs> thank y'all so thank much. Thank you guys. Yep. Congratulations. That's cool. That was Sarah that Coca brought in earlier. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah. you know, I think that's a good deal. We, we, we're showing them on camera. No, y'all are not adopting my sweet lump of love right here. But um, I, I think that that brings kind of more to you, getting to see the animals and kind of bonding with them or kind of checking them out. You can see what, I mean, we're, what, an hour into this and what a huge success it's, it's, it is already. Right. Because I wasn't for sure. I was like, well, if the leaf of donates at least one then that's a success but now we're on to number four number five i think that's very cool yeah so that's i mean it just it kind of warms your heart that there's there's people out there wanting to give uh, um, a loving home to these yeah, animals yeah did you have something Catherine? Do you want me oh to Kalua. Kalua. i guess so <laughs> Look, she's going to sleep we have another adoption oh we got right. another one by, by Kalua. Can have her at home. Separation <laughs> anxiety. I know. Oh. And look, Catherine takes her to work with her all day. Oh, yeah. so that's so cool. she gets to see her every day, and Monica Sinclair Kennedy gets to see her every day. She gets so excited when Uncle Ty comes to work. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Catherine now, tells me. How I think I asked you earlier, how much bigger will Kalua get? Will she always be like an accessory dog like that? Or? Um, I believe they send me more than like ten pounds. Okay. So about the size about the, okay. 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 Yeah. okay. That's yeah, about right. Gonna, she's gonna stay a small dog. Now she could stay mini like this forever. Oh, that would be so. Oh, perfect. I know. Just almost like puppyish. She kind of lost her puppy breath. She's lost her what? Her puppy breath a little. Yeah. Aww. She I like puppy. Have that puppy breath anymore. And look, and look. When it is time for her to take a nap, she don't care where she is. It's what time. she's doing, she falls over. Dude. She, she does not. Good for her. Good for her. Another All right. Kitty. Oh, come on, right behind us. Come on Another in. Kitty how y'all doing? Home. Yay. Good, how are you? Who do we have here? Uh, this is Fergie. <laughs> Fergie. Oh, for yeah. delicious. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. for delicious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. delicious. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I've never had a cat before. Oh, really? 
cats are wonderful. Yeah, yeah. She looks like chill, so this yeah. might be the good start That's, of something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're so glad y'all came out, and now you have a forever home. Mm-hmm. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yeah. Now do you get do you get to take her home today? Yeah. That's, no, that's even better. Yeah. Cause they, you know what they have they had all their stuff done and, and all that, so you just yeah. This was so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you can do another one. I like it. Uh, Boom. One I don't think we can handle two. Oh sure. Oh, well, sure. the two's not any more than one. I they agree. Were uh, now do you have everything you need? We're getting we're gonna it. We're gonna go now. buy a litter box. You have to go do all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, Food in here, litter box, and yeah. Fun stuff. New home oh, for Fergie. Congratulations. <laughs> she says she says thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All, the name. All right, guys. The name thank you. Enjoy, yeah. So it has to be up to at least five now, folks. And we would really like to you know what? I almost I think we're more like, than five, really. I, I know we can we are at five. We're, we're at, at five. five. Okay. So we need at least five more. Let's make a goal of ten. Ten? Yeah. We'll be white we'll we don't have any left. That's all right. That's okay. They'll, they'll yeah, find yeah, yeah. more. That's There's right. more. More to, more to love. So that's good. Fergie's got a home. How cool is that, huh? She Fergie didn't sing good on the national anthem, but she now has a forever and, home. And Ruth RGB in her her passing. Yes. Um, the the people right before there took Sarah. They're going to rename her Ruth in Perfect. RGB's uh, memory. That's great. Um, fun RGB. story to go along with that. Mm-hmm. Our... Brittany, our dog, is named Kylie Diana Mesa Plum, of course. But the Diana comes because she was born on the anniversary of Princess Diana's death. Wow. So that's we threw cool. that in there. Yep, yeah. Kylie Diana. Well, like Kalua, her middle name is Regina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same, kind of After same Regina Adams. So yeah. That's, yeah. So I think it's always cool you kind of throw in that person. Now, what's this, one? what's this one's name? Well, her real name is Wednesday May. Okay. Are you Winnie? Winnie. Winnie. Our, and her stripper name is Winnie Woo Woo. Winnie Woo Woo. Does right. Winnie, what does Winnie have? That, is that a little spot on her head there? What? No, is that? Uh, oh, well, she has a mohawk and it's like, <laughs> well, and that's the natural color. I don't know who's That winning. is so cool. I'm thinking she's winning, winning the, uh, the, um, the race between us of who's the greatest. But oh, she's a great Winnie. puppy, and she sleeps right by me every night, every single night. And Winnie got along great with uh, Kalua. No After problem. three weeks. Three weeks, huh? For three weeks, Winnie would not look at her, even be in the same room with her. She would not. Like, sleep. what did you do to me? What's this? Yeah, all about? she looks at me like. Are you kidding me? Exactly. That, that, like, why? Why did you have to bring another? What kind Winnie? of craziness is this? I don't know what it is. We have another visitor here. Oh, I think look, it's we got a, a, uh, This is the house cat. I think it's a shop cat. Yeah. Shop cat. Shop cat. But their food is back there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, their food's back there. That's why, yeah. yeah well, she's on what, what's, it, what's her name or his? Name? Hank. Hank, name. That one, I think, is spiked. Look and see if it has two spikes coming out of his jaw. His lower jaw. Oh, I ain't well, like. well, he's eating right now. He's eating, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll so, him. the name could or could not be Spike. He's going to have two pains. Spike. I like that. Yeah, That's Spike. That's a butcher name. Yeah. That's my stripper name. I can, see, <laughs> I can see the collar for Spike. You know, it'd be that, the bulldog. Oh, we need to know, if, if we need to sell, and if you would like to uh, pre-order some of these, go on BB's Treats. BB's Treats? They do wonderful. Is it bbstreats.com? I don't know if it's on Facebook. It is on Facebook. So go to BB's Treats. Just search it on Facebook. Right. And they are, and they have a little sticker here. It says, BB's Treats is a proud supporter of Big Easy Animal Rescue. Yeah. They, um, remember we were all, while walking around out there, they um, got into the the doggy end of things. Right. Yeah. And it it sounds like potentially be able to get these all the time here coming up. Yeah, so, I think Brenda's going to talk to yeah, her about uh, yeah. maybe doing a collaboration or, or um, what do you call it, a consignment or something yeah. of getting, a, so that that is a win-win. And that's what we like to do here at Let's Talk About It. We put people networking together. And, We've and done a fair amount we of that. Have, we, really have. we are some networkers, let me tell you. Yep. What do we got, uh, speaking of which, what do we have coming up this Wednesday on Let's Talk About It? We have Poppy Tooker. Yep. Uh, the uh, author of the Drag Queen Brunch Cookbook. She's also uh, the host of Louisiana Eats. She's on countless TV shows and radio shows. Can we close that door, please? And then uh, she does a lot, and, and she's real, like, in the community, and, and, and 
I'm hoping that maybe, I don't know if she's watching, I don't think she is, but if she is, you know, like, bring us a little song. Like, one of your creations. <laughs> we don't believe you're a good Does, cook. Pop, I guess that's a question I could ask her Wednesday. She has the, the cookbook. Yeah. But is Poppy a, a, a chef or a cook? Or did, did yeah. she try all those first? Or? I, now, that I don't know. Now, I know she does, like, on WWL, she has, like, a cook show, I think. Or, oh, she a, or a segment on she does actual cooking. Okay. Remember, uh, what's his name? Frank? Um, he used to be the morning sportsman and oh, would do yeah, the cook, yeah. cooking with his wife. Yeah, he passed that was away. Great. Yeah. They named, there's a road or a bridge named after him now when you go to yeah, slide out. He was really cool. What was his lad? I can't remember. Somebody, yeah, somebody will type, type it up in, there. We know, yeah, I know exactly who, I know who you're talking about. They've got that other guy, the big giant guy. He's kind of does some of their cooking guest. now, too. Oh, who's the special guest? You know, I love me a special guest. Kalua's sister. Oh, oh Kalua's sister's here, you know? Oh, this is um, Kira. 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 Kira is Kalua's sister. Come this right around behind us, right here. Yep. They named actually they named Kara after Han Solo's girlfriend's name. Oh. Look at there. She looks like Q I look at, apostrophe R A. And her parents are Jack and Frank. And look. he's scared of other dogs. Really? Oh. We tried to let Kalua and Kira meet, but Kira was a little afraid, uh, fearful of Kalua. But look at that little cute little uh, Could collar. Could be his sister, Kalua. They don't remember here. each other? Well, I don't dog think too. So. No, look, she's like, I don't know her. Well, wait, I think it's Kalua. Yeah, Kalua would, would like to get reacquainted, but eh, yeah. Kira's we'll like, have to nah, not so much. Yeah, into that. Have not so much. Right. She'll go up to complete strangers, but she will not go up near do other dogs. Oh. Our dog's kind of like that, too. Wants nothing to do with other dogs. Like, well, mm -mm. Kalua, as you can tell, fits in with our family. She has no shame. <laughs> 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 she is right. She'll go up to anybody in the world. So That's This great. one goes up to people, but not well, no, but for dogs. Okay, gotcha. Not the dogs. Well, this is so cute. You brought her by. Uh, maybe next time y'all will, like, bond. I don't know. She's yeah. trying to climb up my neck. <laughs> right. Well, thank you. She's already climbed up my neck once. Say hi. Hi, right, Kira. <laughs> we like to do the butt shake with because it's so cute. She says bye. <laughs> <laughs> I see Kathleen Conlon. Thank you so much, Jack, yeah. for bringing her by. We well, thank appreciate you. it. Tell Frank hello for us. He's right outside, oh, but he's just tell him, hey. being caught somewhere. That's all right. Look, I see Kathleen Bye, Conlon is watching, too. Hey, Kathleen. Yeah, Kathleen Codlin. Uh, she was uh, Southern Exodus Grand Marshal number 14 in 1986. I believe I that's correct. I, I don't know. I, I was alive yet. Me either. Uh, <laughs> but I heard people speak of that. But no, uh, Kathleen, we just want to tell you, hey, history. shout out, sis, to you. Appreciate you watching. But be sure, it is dreary, but it's not a hurricane. No. It's not a tropical storm. It's a little rain, and we have... Get your mask worse. on and Get come on down. Get your mask on and, 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 you know, we will um, come down and, and adopt a dog. Is there some more bonding going on out there, Coco? Is yeah, some it's, more... it's a little busy up, out there. Good. I'm kind of wait until a little guy down from Google Grab. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's no problem. Problem. to see who's picking who. Right, right. So it's hard for me to pick So them. we were talking about earlier, Misty, on their um, adoption page, mm -hmm. you know, where it's kind of a couple days here and there. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they're foregoing a lot of that today. They are. They are because I think the need is they have so many and, I, and, and you know, they, they have, they're up to everything and, and I, I think that they're foregoing a lot of that. Just, you know, it's an adoption day. Yeah. It's not an adoption. Let's wait for Let's five wait weeks. Day. No, this is an adoption in that, I guess day. that would make sense for an, like an adoption thon. Because you couldn't, you know, I guess you'd have to, if, if I say, yeah, I, I want that, that kitten, and then I leave, somebody else might want it. You know, mm -hmm. you know I guess they'd have to have somewhere in the back room to put them. So. Anyway, um, they're kind of foregoing their, their usual um, one to two days and the, the fostering and all that kind of stuff, and they're working with people. I mean, these, these people know what they're doing. They do. They, they know good people and, and, and people are going to make good homes. So um, uh, that works on your, your side of things too. You know, it does. You're they're trusting you to be a good person with the pet, and I'm sure you will be. Because you know Brenda will hunt you down. Oh, she'll come find you. It ain't okay. going to be pretty. Then we'll blast you all over Facebook. Yep. So it's, so we'll yeah, shame you, know. you to no end. So be, right. good I'll always be good to your pets. Uh, Kathleen said that you were alive, just not 
precognizer. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen is You're a witty exactly one. You're exactly right on that one. She's a witty one. <laughs> Back in the 80s. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Kathleen. Ooh, the stories we could all say. Well, we heard from our own Kathleen's little actually, corners of the world. Right. Kathleen's actually, I think, writing a book about her, um, her escapades. Yeah. Yeah. That should be interesting. G-rated or? No. I don't. Uh, no. Maybe Minimum we'll, a bar. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think it'll be G-rated. You she wants so? to sell a book. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you want to do a Sometimes movie. if you do that, then people buy more because they That's you know, what it's I'm like forbidden fruit. Yeah. So what else we got? And then we got uh, Poppy and who else on Wednesday? Sandy Rosendahl. Sandy Ro and let's who, what's Sandy Rosendahl? Okay, she's a civic activist. Okay, she is the author of the newly released book. It is called Whispers in the Water, and it says not not when the levees broke for Hurricane Katrina. Okay, and she's also the founder of Levees Well, that's they've been around since. A while. That all happened, uh -huh. really. Right? And she's the one who spearheaded it, founded it, and she is very passionate about the, the uh, subject. And so I think we're going to learn a lot. It'd be from interesting her. to talk mm -hmm. to her. Yep. Maybe get a state of how the levees are now, and you know how much safer we are now than we were back then, and you know are they getting the attention that they need? And... Right. You know, I always admire people who do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a need. You know, like you have Brenda. Brenda saw a need about the, um, you know, the animals yep. and, and trying to help yep. help those, and then Sandy saw. <clears throat> Sorry, sorry, honey. No, I did not eat the cookies. That was a <laughs> was um, an, what you call it? an Altoid. Sorry, one of our previous sponsors. Right, Altoids. one of our previous sponsors in Red Bull. Yep. But um, ooh, I could use a Red Bull. Yeah, it wouldn't yeah. hurt. Maybe two. <laughs> but you know, I really appreciate people who do that and say, you know what, let's change things, and they take it on themselves yes. to start, and then they find like-minded individuals, and then it snowballs. Yep. And then she has an organization that does a lot of good, and she's also written a book. And I think I don't. You know, I'm going to check into but I don't think that's the only book she's written. I think it might be more. I'm going to oh, check really? into that. Oh, yeah. On the, on the same subject? I don't, or, I don't or know. Related or I don't know. somewhere around there? Don't put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jeff, okay? But we will find out before Wednesday. I guess you know, we have maybe a little bit of time, too. We can do a, a, a little bit of a teaser. Um, we are hoping with the um, Let's Talk About It show mm. to... Um, Maybe get into researching and maybe use the word investigating a little bit. I think we should use the word investigating um, because, I mean, it's, it's things that's going on that needs investigating. That need, we need some answers. Right. I think sometimes we as a community yep. that we kind of hold back or kind of like, oh, let's don't talk about that or it'll go away or things will get better yep. or... I don't care. Or, or I'm not going to say nothing because I don't want to offend this person. Right. Or I don't want this person mad at me because then they'll retaliate. Right. You know, some things need to be brought up. Yeah. And um, instead of just kind of under the rug and poo-pooing it away, let's 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 talk let's about look, it. Right. We're going to talk about it. We're going to lift that rug up and kind of brush some of the things out that's been hidden for a while. Brush and, it the other way. Right. Brush it the other way. And I think that that is a, I mean, I don't know if you consider us journalists. But I guess in a way, we kind of are. I mean, we try to bring news and, and we bring people, like, you know, information to, to all of our people that listen. Yeah. And I, I think it's a responsibility that we have to, um, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah to, I to, think... to do our due process or our, our, there's a word there. Help me. I don't, I, I'm not exactly sure what the word is either, but we don't want to necessarily... We don't want to candy coat things. Yeah, we don't want candy coat yeah. things. We don't want um, we don't want to put anybody on the spot unless maybe they need to explain something. Right, and we're you know, and, and we we want to have guests that are informative and and, and that want to, to see things. And, and it's not that we, we we don't want to have a negative show. No, but there are sometimes that we do have to that we'll need to talk about maybe things that are negative and not just not to point blame. Nope. Not to. Um, you know, try to ridicule anybody or anything, but to say, what can we all do to make it better? Right. They're, at the end of the day, there are issues that need to be addressed and right. that you should know about. And then we're just going to try to bring those to the forefront and have um, some investigation. I think so. And, and, yeah. I, and I think in a, the next few weeks, two, three weeks mm -hmm. or so, that, mm -hmm. that, um, that we'll, we'll go into that phase. And I think it's going to be interesting. And if you have something that you would like us to investigate, or to look into. Or look into. Yep. Don't be shy. And we can do it on a confidentiality basis also. 
Um, so I think that that's a cool thing. We're gonna we're gonna try to get some answers. Yeah, and th there are answers out there. If there's a problem out there, there's an answer to it. I mean, there's a damn problem when a gay store can't fly a gay flag. So yeah, and I'm still pissed off about that. We're going to get to the bottom right, of it. Right, and I have sent off an email to City Hall, and I want to know personally, and we want to know as a team and as a show, what, why and what can be done to fix it. Yeah. We don't want to say, well, because of you or because... Well, yeah. We want to know what the solution is and how we can get it fixed. Yeah, What's what What do we have to do to make this happen? Yeah, we don't care who said what, where, when, The bar where. next door. Right. Proudly flying a flag. You, you You've probably, got a right? residence in right. the middle of the block, a couple of them actually, that are flying gay mm -hmm. flags. Why are we giving this place static when they want to fly? It just makes no sense whatsoever. And, and I had somebody that, that basically told me, well, Misty, you know, we are in a pandemic. And why are you bringing that up when that's really not a uh, like a big subject to talk about? Let me tell you the damn reason that I did. Because you infringe on our rights, even that small, as to fly a pride flag at a pride store. You infringe on that and make it difficult. Then let me tell you, you that is, and we don't do anything about it. That is why that they take away our rights and they do not treat us equally. Because just at times like this where they'll do that. Right. They'll start nipping away at stuff. You right. know? We just had uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg die. Mm -hmm. And that's going to, unfortunately, unless something's done, that's going to change things. Yep. If that doesn't right. concern you. Right. And if it doesn't concern you and if should. you are just kind of in a lack of, lackadaisical uh, attitude about it, oh, well, that won't happen here. It's already happening here. As small as that, and that's why. You know, one small of the little reasons, thing is yeah. you can't fly a flag. Right. You know? Then what it will be next? What's next? And you know, at the if nothing else, you know, if you're not the type that says, "Oh, you know, politics isn't my thing," um, above and beyond all, this next election, you need to vote. Right. If you don't do anything else, if you don't put out a political sign, or you don't sign a petition, or you don't. You know, let everybody know on Facebook, and I don't either. I don't. I don't put a lot of right. my political yeah, deals no, out I there. No, I don't either. But I, you, I, I'm voting. Right. You have to vote. And, and everybody needs to vote in this election. My grandpa would always say, besides, you know, check check the uh, oil and water, and the gas will take care of itself. <laughs> my grandpa had some wise things to say, some not so wise, but he would also say, "Did you vote?" And if somebody said no, he'd say, you don't have a damn thing to say. That's right. And that's that's right. That's true. I mean, you have no opinion. You have no, you, you gave up that right when you gave up not voting. So it's a, a, a passionate subject. And, and we, we feel like that we want our show to grow. And we want it to be informative. Like I said, we don't want it to be just a candy-coated, nice little thing. And, you know, we want to have positivity. But we also want to bring pressing issues and matters that matters to you. Whether maybe at the time you don't know it or not. Yeah. So we, we appreciate you hanging with us, and, and things are only going to get better from yeah, here. Yeah, we'll get better. How um, Your other little show you got working with, uh, you talk about that a little bit? What's going on there? Yeah, we're going to uh, film uh, tomorrow. Okay. We're going to film last week. We're going to start filming it tomorrow. It's called Sensing Justice with, uh, with Carrie Roy and myself. For those of you who do not, uh, do not know uh, Carrie Roy, she is a... I would say a world famous psychic. Absolutely. She uh, was named best psychic in the U.S. by BBC America and best uh, psychic in New Orleans by uh, the Travel Channel. So, evidently, you and know, she's been a guest on our and show. She's been a guest on our show uh, three times. Three times. She called in and came to the telethon. Yep. And uh, we went to her, her lovely home, yep. and we did there. And she's just a wonderful person. But darling, that she's been blessed with a gift. She really has. And so I got to thinking, I mean, I'm always, I mean, it's probably to the point of obsession that I'm always watching. If I'm not watching the ID channel or snapped or somebody that got killed or your coworker that kills or somebody or, you know, if I'm not watching that, then I am watching about the paranormal. So I was sitting there one day and y'all know, for those of you who know me, you know, I get these ideas. And so I was <laughs> like, oh my God, what if I brought a show that brought the investigation into crimes and the paranormal. Okay? It's not that we expect Carrie to walk in. Okay, this is a person who did this. This um, is what happened. Right, this is how, right, 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 right. No, oh, it doesn't work right. that way. It's not about, the show is not about that. The show is about what we can do with 
you know, she has a gift. I'm still working on my whatever gift I have. But um, your spidey sense. My spidey sense, and I have them right. I don't want to go. No, you do. It. You do. I got that. When I say no about a person, you better write the check and take it to the bank. But no, because um, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But anyway, you know, whatever gift that I have that I can bring to the table, I thought that it would be a, a great partnership for us to to use that and maybe just bring some closure or some answers, but more importantly, peace and recognition of the crime for the families. So we're starting to film that. It's going to be just once a month that we're going to air it. Uh, it'll, it'll be aired on Let's Talk. We're going to probably do a little showing or something. Uh, well, I think like we talked the other day, you yeah. know, we will have a show. I don't know how long your segment's going to mm-hmm. be, but, you know, you, you all recognize the format. We'll talk a little bit and maybe even have a guest and then we'll go to... Right, and then we'll show the, the actual show. Yeah. And so it's not going to be a live show, so it's going to be a pre-recorded show. And um, we're, like I said, tomorrow we, we start our filming. I'm excited and kind of, you know, it's a new thing. I'm kind of nervous about sure. it, but I am looking forward to it. So, oh, I think it'll be great. Right. And we both, you know, Carrie and I, we both have the same goals that we are wanting to, like I said, bring peace. Because sometimes to have peace in your life or kind of, you know, kind of like, okay, this happened. I got my story out. Yep. I can move on. Yep. You can, you right. know, whatever. I don't want to say, you have closure. Right. I don't um, think you ever have closure. And make harmony. Right, you know, you know, yeah. you, and, and maybe understand some things a little bit better. Right, and, I, and that's understand the is probably a good word. It, you know, it is, and, and I mean, you, I don't think we'll ever understand maybe why somebody goes and shoots somebody or right. stabs somebody nine times. I mean, that I don't understand or comprehend that, but maybe try to maybe put some of the pieces of the puzzle together. So that's that's what that's about. So uh, I'm hoping that you'll tune in for that, and, and we're going to really get behind the show. And, and Carrie is really excited about being a part of it. She's, you know, I met her obviously through you. Mm-hmm. Um, and yet, you know, Bill, a little bit, I'm a little bit of a, a, of a skeptic. Right. Um, that's going away. I, I see a little more all the time of, of the, the things that she does, and she's just as, as common a, a person as you and I. She's not anybody that's. That's this God or supernatural like she or anything she like that. She doesn't travel around in a magic carpet. No, 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 no. Right. She doesn't levitate herself no, or anything like not, that. Not that I've seen. No. <laughs> but, but she does. And, and, um, and, and, I, and, I, and I think that's what being, like having that gift is all about. Yeah. That you bring, that you're positive and you, you don't shove your beliefs or whatever down somebody's throat. But you lead by example. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and you want people to believe in your gifts. So therefore you have to be believable. Mm-hmm. And I, and I think, you know, it, it's it's in her family, her father. Singer. And like, her mother, um, I, th- I believe, was the one with the, the gift. With the gift. Mm-hmm. It, seemed, it seemed like she talked maybe even about a, a grandparent or something. Yeah, too. it is. It's uh, It is hereditary. Yeah. You know, yep. if you'll go back and, um, you know, like the people in your family may have a gift and, and then it, kind of, it, it passes down. Sometimes it skips a generation and sometimes I think, it Yeah, I think, I think Carrie would probably agree, too, that... Everybody's got a little bit of it. I think so. Yeah, you know, everybody's got. Yeah, I, do, I believe that. And whether we know how to tap into it, right, is the whole thing. Right. You know, and some people, hereditary wise, have got more access to it, and some of us others may just have a little bit of deja vu. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the spotty senses thing is a real blessing to have. Let me tell you. <laughs> is it? It, it is. I would say ninety something percent of the time, because when I get that little that little feeling, and I I can actually feel it on my neck. Anyway, oh, look who enough about here. that. On, Let's right. talk about Brenda Laura, everybody. Come right behind us, Brenda. Yeah. All right, here's my great friend, Brenda Laura. She is the owner, operator, co- uh, the founder, the everything. I told him you hate, hate it when I talk. Yeah. yeah. She always hates <laughs> it. She's like, Missy. She's like, Missy. But um, who we have here? This is Yoda. Yoda. Yoda's about two and a half years old. Hey, Yoda. He came from a really bad situation Aww. where he was... Uh, given to these people and they had fighting pit bulls oh, that no. lived in the backyard so that when they got tired of them they just threw them in the backyard with them oh, and, um, that so me. that's kept him very scared very skittish but he's been with a foster for a week and has just he's like in love with her but she can't keep dogs so 
Um, so he's looking for a forever home. Well, How old is what? Yoda? Yeah. Yoda's two and a half years old. Two and a half. Well, you, st- I mean. Y'all need to come down here and get Yoda right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how many have adopted so far? Five, six? I think six. I think we've had six adoptions in one day. That's wow. amazing. That's, that's well, great. Well, our goal's ten, so we still oh, got wow. time. I, I don't know. Okay. Six is still great, but six we're going to try. Right. Six, <laughs> is, six is great. You still got some, some people out there. Yeah, we, we sometimes we don't do six in, in two or three weeks. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So oh, Because awesome. we are very strict on our adoptions. It's made it really easy because a lot of these people are people in the community that we all already know. Right, right, right. right. So that's that's great. Yeah. So maybe we was thinking you, you said this was the first one that you ever had. Yeah, so maybe we could do like a, every year we could do something like that this would be and great. keep growing, you know? That would be great. Oh, look at you. Yoda. Yes, please come down and look see at our face. adoptable pets. Look at that face. I know. Yoda. That ear. You look, yeah, oh, that's Lord. adorable. Uh, Yoda needs a home, everybody. D- y'all come get Yoda before I take it home. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be, you'll get killed. I'll get killed, yeah. yeah. Look at his ear doing like Tallulah. Yes, I know, that's crazy. adorable. Yeah. Thank you. Thank all of y'all for this. We Absolutely. really, really, really appreciate it. No problem. We appreciate everything that you do, Brenda. Talk we really do. Well, we're open till, uh, till 4 o'clock. And well, our new hours are going to be 11 to 5 every day, except for Sunday for the time being. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Appreciate it. Oh, that's we'll great. See Brenda oh. again here, I'm sure. Oh yeah. So we just got a message from the French Quarter location. Michael uh, was saying, the, yeah, so let's just get the, you know, keep up the good work. Yeah, and get the uh, animals for a forever home. I like that. The forever. For, for oh, ever. I get it. Forever. Forever home. That's right. that's cute. Hey, I see my uh, one of my best friends. Is watching Ginger Oakwan. How you doing, Jen? Okay. Tiger. Yes, her name, Tiger. Uh, she loves the paranormal and the uh, killing shows too. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, you know. The killing shows. Let's well, <laughs> is that not what happened? Anyway, well, she what happened. has. She loves fur babies. She has Champ. Champ. Tucker. Tucker Oakwan. Tucker. And then Fletcher Lafitte. And Alley Cat, is that right? Three wow. Cats two, yeah. And when they go out of town, guess who they trust to watch, to, to dog pet sit? That'd be you. That's right. They trust Are me. they all cats? No, they have two two are puppies and three are cats. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Cats are a little easier if you're going to go out of town for a day or so, or a day or two. They, they can mind themselves a little bit better. Dogs, on the other hand, yeah, you kind of no, got They're needy. Yeah. And cats, they, they don't give a care anyway. No. They're like... <laughs> they're kind of happy. Live. They'll take a break from you, too. They're all right. Yeah. That. yeah. We, our our uh, cats, we have uh, Eli. We named Eli. Uh, she's no longer with us, but Elizabeth Moracy. I know some of y'all know her, <laughs> Beth Moracy. We named Eli after her. Eli Winter, after Winter Wonderland. Eli Winter Gaither. And then we have uh, Natty, which is actually Natchez. Natchez. N- Natty Blue. So how many you got all together? One more time, Jeff. We have two cats and three dogs. Three, four, five. Wow. There's not any room for Mason. My boo-boo is there. <laughs> we make room for him. Yeah. We was like, well, we have four people in the house. And five, we're like, wow. Yeah. And I've never been... Um, Oh, Ginger said Misty is a good nanny. Aww. And you're a good nanny, too, to Kahlua. She has brought Kahlua, oh, okay. uh, like a little rainbow tutu <laughs> and little shirts and stuff. So that's sweet. Cute. But, yeah, I, I never was, like, I wasn't really raised with any animals. Oh, you weren't? No. Um, I th- Maybe when I was, like, little, little, we had, like, a dog or two, but I was growing up, no. So I was never around them a lot, so... Um, but now, so I was always kind of like, I don't want dogs in the house. I can't wear it. Meanwhile, and then I go and, and get Kahlua and bring more. And Catherine didn't know. And so I have her in the box, and Catherine's like, what, what, what are you bringing in? What are you bringing I in? remember that night. Yeah. We, had, we had been to um, Carnival. Carnival, and you went and picked up Kahlua after we were done that night, right? Uh, yeah, and then I took her home. Yeah, because Regina lives just down the street. Right, right. So I, I snuck around, grabbed her. Catherine was at home. I walk in on the little box. She's like, what do you have? What do you have? And I'm like, I'm oh, not right now. Because you know with me, it has to be a presentation. and It's got to be drama. You know, right, you got to right? be right, drama and all that. But I didn't get to have that. So I was just You're like, such a, such a gay man that way. 
Do you know, she drama, said drama. maybe I'm a gay man. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, so I handed her the box and she's just like, oh my God. And they have been like best. And you were a little worried about that. You were like, oh, I was. I was like, Catherine's going to kill me if I bring another animal in the house. But oh my God, they're like best friends. Oh, Ginger said a correction. Yeah, because Kalua gets to go to work all day. She works all day and then, I, I don't know, she does her thing. Ginger said that actually they have six cats now because Milana, her girlfriend, they she she's there now and so they brought, they're building a home. Combined family. Yes, combined family. Cool. A blend, cool. Blended. Blended. Blended, blended family. Blended. So they're built. They're building their own home. I, I guess I can say this shit on Facebook. Anyway, anyway, they're going to be going to another residence, and then they're going to have their like room to. It's a story of Ginger and Milana, <laughs> who had six cats of their own. There was a uh, oh, uh, uh, Fletcher uh, and Clyde and Milana and Milana's oh oh Fletcher and. Uh, Lafitte and Alley Cat. The and rest then of the names Clyde, are done. Come along. Okay, Clyde yeah. come along. There you go. Hey, I like that one. That's good, huh? Yeah. yeah. I was on the spot. That was not that, that's, that's ever done. pretty good. So, we're here the at The Ginger Biggie. Bunch. The Ginger... No, Tiger Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's laughing her ass off. Um, so, we're here... At Big Easy Pet and Rescue 2, T-O-O. -O. Big Easy Animal Rescue. Right here in the historic Marigny. Right, 839 Spain Street. Right up the street from the uh, now opened again Who Dat Who Cafe. That? It's on the corner of Spain Street and Mandeville. And congratulations to them. Right. Right. Opening back up and, and putting people to work. And that's right. That's fine. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Yeah. You know, do what you got to do. Um, but we're here, um, and I might add quite successfully, with an adoption thon, and we've had fur families today. Where is Vanessa Carr Kennedy? Isn't she around here somewhere? She was there. Yeah, ago. she was here. What happened to her? Look, I think that we, sh that Vanessa, you know, she's now a permanent part of our cast. Yes, she is. Show. And, and I just think that if she truly loves us, <laughs> you know then how it always opens. has to be a stipulation. Yeah. If she truly loves us, she will adopt two, like two cats. And she's got a family to take she those does. on. She yeah, does. It yeah, ain't yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, no. I think Desiree would really go for it if Vanessa would adopt two cats. Is Vanessa still here? Yes. What was I what? tried telling Vanessa that. Right, I think she ought to come here and we should just get it all out on the air. I'm yep. going to go let her know that uh, Desiree said it was okay for two Yeah, 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 Desiree, yeah, yeah. Said Tell it's okay. Desiree said it was okay. Kalua wants to come visit. Is that okay? Of course. Right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Pardon. <laughs> so, y'all are welcome to come by and bring your puppy to Winnie. What's with this? Uh, Winnie, Winnie feels Winnie. left out. Okay, we got Uncle Jim. Okay. I love the ear. I know. And it just started that. Like, oh, really? Like, yeah, it wasn't like that. And all of a sudden, we're like, what's up with the ear? Oh, she just makes my heart. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like so in love with her. I don't know what it is. I mean, I love her. Where does uh, where's Kalua get to sleep? Oh, well, she goes to sleep in her um, crate okay. by the bed. Mm -hmm. But then about... Mm, Two, three, four, whatever fancy is in the morning. You know, you gotta. She wakes up just like a newborn. You gotta take her outside, and then she get, comes and gets. In then she gets in bed. bed. and then she'll sleep by me a little, and she'll then she'll go sleep by cat. And how's she doing? Uh, house training. She's doing good. Yeah, she, she really is. I mean, she has a few, you know, but but overall, I'd say she's doing real good. Why are you shaking? Because you're a chihuahua. What is it? What is her breed? Well, according to rumor. Um, she is long hair chihuahua. Okay. Uh, Laxie something poo. <laughs> and a, a weenie dog. She is just adorable. And she looks okay. like Kalua. She does. Our daughter, Raquel, actually, like, she sent us a list of names because we couldn't come up with everything. When you have, like, 85 dogs and cats, you know, it gets kind of, <laughs> you know, whatever. But, um, she, she, Kalua was on the, um, you know, was on the list, and we were like, oh my God, we love white Russians, and we used to drink them all the time. We're like, Kalua would be perfect. So there we go. 
So yeah, so come by and get, are we selling any cookies? We should sell cookies. I don't know the answer there. I'm just saying, really appreciate BB's treats for, um, you know, supporting Bear and, and donating their sales of, of everything today to Bear. Right? Yeah. Mason's going to try one out. When they made cookies for for um, for the show, and they had the last talk cookies and the Misty and Jeff emojis, which I thought was just the greatest thing in the world. They tasted so good. They were, yeah, too good, and especially not. Oh, well, they're not keto friendly. They are not keto friendly yeah. at all. Right. But they are darn good. Right. You know, and that's one of the, you know, this this whole thing is not keto friendly, but maybe just this one little. You know, right, you don't have to eat the whole cover. thing at one time like me. You could just break off a little piece here and there. Yeah, yeah. So come by and and see us. Coca, really how's like, the adoptions yeah. going out there? It's slowing uh, down. And oh no! Do you have any any other ones you can bring in for us? Um, a cat or a puppy, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Sure, so we'll we'd be happy out. to meet someone else yet. Yeah. So, I mean, we're still going to be here. What, what time is it? I can't it is 2.33. Okay. So, we're going to be here for like 30 more minutes. That's plenty of time. Ish. And if you uh, get here around 3, we'll stay up. And like, we'll, we'll uh, certainly, we'll be here for 3. I don't know. Are we going to be on the air that long? You might want to hurry up if you want to be on the air. Well, yeah, we're here to 3. We're here to 3? We're here okay. to 3. we got 30 minutes. So, um, yeah. 27. 27 minutes. And I think that six adoptions is wonderful mm. and great. I mean, we'd love to get a couple She said of sometimes more. they don't do that in a couple of months or weeks. Yeah. So I think that that is what you would consider a success. Most definitely. Right. I also want to give a shout out. You know what? Um, our good friend Heather Shapiro from Nerd uh, Brew Coffee. Yeah, yeah. I, I really wish that everybody could try some of her coffee that she makes by hand. It is so good. It really is. And she has a lot of the espresso cookies and things that she makes. Like her page on Facebook. Like she's page. always got new stuff. She was making me hungry today too with the, with dark chocolate yeah, espresso. Yeah, I was like, damn you. Ooh, that sounds good. Coca's got someone else right, for us who today. Is it? Oh my God, he's so cute. Hey, Bip -Bip. You're on the air. Who's this? this? Ladybug. Ladybug? Oh. oh, he knows your name too. Huh? Hey, Ladybug. Hey, Ladybug. This is, I think, what I heard. What uh, Miss Deborah said, Brenda. 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 She was saying that the dogs came all came from that backyard. So that's. Oh. The lady that we met earlier. Okay, had she high, had all them? She yeah. had uh, all fostered all of them. Oh wow. Well, God bless her, huh, for for taking in Ladybug's that many. Ladybug's got some long nails. Ladybug needs a day at the spot. Yeah, we we'll yeah. get those taken care of for you. Yeah, she's so you can tell she's sweet though. Yeah, she. Very I think sweet. she would very, just fit in to anybody. Sweet. Very shit scared right now. I don't know what's going shaking, on. Yeah, shivering. I yeah, can't feel it. They right. don't know what's going on. So many new people. Yep. But boy, you take them home in a couple of days, they'll be. Oh, it'll be curled oh. up with you and yeah. barking to defend you and. And just, be good just being there for you, and like like for uh, so, so many people that's having to stay at home, and this is a good good way to yeah you know yeah yeah absolutely now, now's the time to do uh, house training. And the nice yeah. thing, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think all of these are good to go with shots. And yeah, they've been registration. Everything. I don't know if they've got the little uh, chip in them or not, but um, I see they I have the thing hanging ears. over here. Right, and they got like their shots, and I think their ear is done. Like, oh, the cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so you'll know that. And so, I mean, this is, you know what? There's no excuse. Nope. Nope. It, if you've been thinking Yoda. about it, you should come out oh and God. take a look. That Yoda, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. You thinking about Yoda? Hell no. I ain't thinking about nothing. Oh, I am thinking. Oh, no, because I know I, I, I would, Yoda yeah. could probably stay at home and I'd have to find somewhere else to live. <laughs> but, um, well, if Kalu is going to work with Catherine, mm -hmm. maybe Yoda could go to work with you at Amen. I just don't see that. You don't see that happening? I don't see them being like, oh, bring in Yoda. No. Not so much? No. Maybe. Anybody that we've shown to, not only if they want to adopt them. Come here and tell us. Oh, Come back here and tell us. Not only if they want to adopt them, they can also foster them too. Okay, you're right. You don't have to adopt. You can foster them. You know, if you're, if you're not ready to commit, which I know some of y'all probably aren't into that right now, but if you're, you know, if you're not into committing, just just come by and, um, you know, foster and, and for a week or two, and that way you can get to know if, if 
that, that could be a good way to help or, or, or do a donation or, or do something. Well, like Misty just said, you know, these are the times you're at home alone or you're, you know, you can't go to work or whatever the case may be, you know, with the pandemic, everything like that. And you're saying, well, I don't know if I really want, it. I don't know if that's my thing. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready. Come and foster one for a week and see how it goes. Right. We have one right here. Her name is Ladybug. Yes, we just met her. Yeah. <laughs> Ladybug was just here. Ladybug is seven months old, and Brenda says um, that they're kind of in a desperate need for foster. If you can't adopt, um, they all are asking, just as Jeff said, come and foster for a week, for a month. Come help them out. Come show the dog some love. And you just never know. You might fall in love and want to take them home and say, look at her face. Yeah. I swear to God, if we walk out of here with one. <laughs> I like that. I personally like that Yoda one, that little white one. Yeah. Uh, yeah you gotta, get cute. them away, get them away. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and if, if we had a, a, a larger home, you know, we would take in one or two more, maybe. One or two more. Well, if we had a farm, like an actual farm with land and fences and cows and barn. chickens, a barn, yeah, a barn would actually take in some more. But you know, you gotta, you know, like I always tell people too, you gotta make sure it's a good quality of life for the animal too. Exactly. You know, because I've watched orders. Yep. That show there. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. If you, you, don't, you don't walk need, on ten feet of trash in your home, yeah. you don't need fifty cats. Somebody, somebody else can help. You and they will sit home. there and argue with you and say, "I take good care of my cats." I love well, in their them. mind, they probably are, but no, you're not. No, no. no then no, we follow no, up no. with intervention. Yeah, <laughs> gotta do the two. It's just not the same. So, how's everybody yeah. doing yeah. out there? And. and TV, I say TV land, Facebook, Facebook land. land. <clears throat> We'd love to hear back from you. and We've had a decent amount of viewers today. We did, we did. And, and I think we'll get more views as we go. We, we're in the thousands in the views. Yeah. So, yeah. Coca's sneaking away a cookie there. Oh, looks like looks like I just bought a cookie. It does. Look at that. <laughs> we, we're selling the cookies three for five because you're about to buy another one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? Everybody, a cookie on you. But, um, it's just a great thing. So my heart is happy and full yep. that we've had six adoptions. Um, that's what I thought of earlier when Catherine was in here. Didn't we on the telethon, um, the, and I forget her name that we talked to right before we came Lex. back in here. Lex. Mm -hmm. Didn't she talk about too, like they are more than happy if you um, want to just come and like, like be a dog walker yeah. or a sitter or yes. something like that. They can use you. For that kind of stuff, also, isn't that some another alternative? If you uh, if you're not in a position to adopt or foster right now, if you if, if you don't have a week, maybe you got a couple hours, and you can come down to um, the store here or the store in the French Quarter, right? And just volunteer, you know, a couple of hours to. I think with you know probably not so much walking the cats, but just playing with the cats in the store. Yeah, because they still need that human interaction to you know. Yep. They, they need that because when, when they get away from it, that's when they become wiry and skitterish. And, you yep. know, so that makes them harder to adopt. So. And it, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah. And by domesticating them more, playing with them and, and getting them used to people, then they'll be, you're, you're helping because they'll be a lot more uh, able to, more adoptable in the future. So that's something you can do to, to help out too. And it don't cost anything except for a little bit of time. Right. I mean, you can even, um, you know, come on your lunch break. Yeah, you could. You know, I'm sure that they'll want you to kind of, um, sorry about this. Um, somebody had asked me a question and I'm texting them now. But you could, you know, get with them. That way they can schedule. They don't want, I'm sure, just everybody just to run in. And, right. and you know, they want to do a schedule. And, Find out when it's a good time days. for you to come here. Right. And I still the show. So, well, you're kind yeah, of way kinda, over there. No, no. Well, this was kind of, yeah. yeah, so anyway. So how are we doing? So uh, yeah, that, that would be a great big thing. door so, right between us there. There you go. Oh, look, there I am. <laughs> you know, you always want to be in the shot when you can. So It's kind of, well, yeah. Facebook you know, has got a good... I, I you think know, that door opens by itself. Right. Yeah, that's when all hell's right. going to break loose and up I'm here. Calling, I'm calling Carrie right then. Um, Facebook, I suppose, so they're, maybe their monitors can watch somewhere, but there's a big lag. You know, we say something then or make a motion and then it's 
right. almost like 30 seconds later. Yeah, because I just did my hair. You see, it just did like my hair, and I, I just did it, yep. and it'll be like one, two, three, three. four. Five, it's quite a while eight, afterwards. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. There was. <laughs> ten seconds. Yep. What's going on out there, Catherine? Still people looking for adoptions? Um, I think they're kind of like regrouping right now. It's, yeah. it's a quiet moment out there at the, at the second. They're right. regrouping. But you know what? Even if we're not on the air when you come, they're open till five. And she said they're new hours. So four. Yeah. For today, four. Oh, four oh, to today. Four? Okay. okay. So they're open till four. So you would still have an hour to come. And, and I know that they would be appreciative if you'll come to adopt or foster a fur baby. Or just come down and see them. Oh, just see them or come buy some pet food or, or, you know, treats or donate some, you know, donate funds or, you know, this is a a, a great thing. So it's a good cause. It's a great cause. And, you know, Jeffrey and I, we enjoy doing these lives at different locations. And, um, you know, so we always look forward to being it. You know, wherever we can to try to, to help and get the word out for, for different causes. So we I especially like the animals. I think it's I think it's, it's cool. kind of my uh, my Your jam. My jam is to take care of the animals. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to close up here pretty soon. Okay. All right. And today is September the nineteenth, two thousand twenty. The year from oh oh, oh. Is that, wait is that BB's tree? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's what I thought too right away when I, I was like, that. okay, I'm getting a cookie. I, was. I think I that you have to ring. Um, when you come to the, to the yeah, yeah, like, like to, they have it locked. Right yeah. I don't know about your house, mm -hmm. but the doorbell at our house just unleashes all holy H E double L L. Thank you. I text people when they say we're gonna, I'm gonna stop by, and I'm like, come straight in the door. <laughs> Do not knock. Just come on don't. in because I don't. You got 85. Arr, no. Please go don't. Nuts. Right. Kylie likes to especially go eight nuts. Doo doo Nuck nuts. and foot. When Coca <laughs> comes in the door. She just man, oh man, she just man, she just goes. Like, she loves crazy. Her coca. She loves some coca. <laughs> she loves coca. <laughs> but she'll she'll sit and wait for me at the back door for Aww. hours. Aww. Aww. And That's she right. comes to the front door and she just goes crazy. Nuts. Well, we want to say a big shout out and thank you to Brenda, Laura, and all the uh, volunteers and employees here at the Big Easy Animal Rescue too, and also on Main Street, uh, the Big Easy Animal yep. uh, Pet Store there. Appreciate Once again, if you're looking, you're thinking right. about it, come this down is, and visit the with place. them. Right, and and we appreciate all of of you who uh, you know donate, give your time, foster, and that's adopt. So we we'll, are going to sign off now. But Big thanks to Catherine and right. Coca and Mesa. Ma Mason. Coca Mesa Mason. Mason. Right. Well, thank well, that's you. where that came in, uh, Coca Mesa. Yeah, Coca. We appreciate Mason you. Mason didn't quite roll off my lips. That's all right. Thank then, you guys so much today. Right. Great team. Great family. We appreciate you. Special thanks to my daughter, our daughter, Kalua and Winnie Woo Woo for being here. But Brenda, Laura, thank you so much for having us. We look forward to doing this as a yearly event. And I can't say my sign off thing because she's here. And I'll say, Catherine, I'm coming home. Get the hot chocolate ready. But she's here. <laughs> so can't do that. So, uh, so, so be sure t this Wednesday, which is September the 23rd. That, is that the 23rd? Yep. Yeah, the 23rd. Uh, we will be again on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Uh, broadcasting from... The Carnival Lounge. Live. There's the a lot Lounge. going on in our community, so let's talk about it, and we'll see you then. Bye, y'all.